We've talked and we've, we've honestly we've struggled with our offense for the most part of the year and you know yeah, and we're glad that we're clicking at the right time. So um, you know when we were we were patient with the ball um, and all five guys are working for that one good shot and you know it doesn't matter who has the shot or who has the goals, it's the five man unit that, that's working real well together and you know, full credit for our offense because the last two games have been really good. Was there anything you were looking for, Troy, as a sign that these guys had put the regular season behind them and were ready to come out and, and play with a relaxed yeah. excitement, if you know what I mean? Yeah, well, we talked after that last game of Rochester. It's a new start. And we had a really good practice on Tuesday. And, and you know, um, you know how uh, social media is today with the guys <laughs> texting each other and, and uh, emailing and some real good things the guys are saying. And, you know, I just knew today, I felt today was going to be a different day, and, and um, um, you know, we, we found a way to win, which last eight games we didn't. And somehow Mr. Tavares at the ripe old age of 45 gets the goal that puts you ahead for good and gets an insurance goal. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh, experience in those situations. Yeah, and, 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 and we had the perfect angle from the bench, and he did not have much to shoot at, and he threaded it. Like, it's an uh, <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> shot, so... We'll take it. The game was tight all the way. There were times the Rock tied it multiple times. If you guys came back and scored, they took the lead. Didn't fold, didn't panic. Well, you know, that was our message. It was what's next, right? Um, you know, I was a little disappointed that uh, Rory Smith took a blatant high stick to the head. The one referee called a five, the other referee talked him out of it. And, you know, it's, it's just unacceptable. It's, it's, it's you know, should have been a five-minute penalty, and I don't care if it's a big playoff game or not. It's a, it's a five-minute penalty. Um, so our message to the players was, hey, look, the referees don't want us to win this either, so let's beat two teams. And, you know, the guys, it just seemed from that hit on, we were in control, and we, we, we were going to do whatever it took. I mean, we saw Roy a couple of shifts later take, block a shot. <laughs> there's a warrior. Boys, that, that guy, I'm telling you, there, there's a warrior. And then, no, defensively, you guys had more sticks, sticks, jacks, turnover, slashes to lose the ball, you know, just forced turnovers yeah. and uh, block shots. Derek Suttons, especially, seemed to get a lot of sticks on balls today. Yeah, we, we, we talk about pos po um, position, and position's a huge thing in lacrosse, and, and sticks are up, and, and, you know, you never know if you can knock one down or whatever. So uh, we were good that way, but, you know, um, defensively, we can, we can be better. As unfair as it is to characterize this, Anthony Cosmo got, finally got his first playoff win tonight of his career. Uh, that might make him kind of relaxed and 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 better. For, but going forward, but uh, yeah, you know, I'm been, sure you, I'm sure you know how good he's been and how unfair it is to put that on. Him. It, it yeah. is. I mean, look at some of the teams that he played for when uh, he was earlier on in his career. Teams that didn't have a chance, and you know, um, you know, and then, then you look at the, the game here a couple years ago in 2011, I think, or 12, where you know. He only lets in seven, and they lose seven six, right? So, um, you know, it's unfair. He's a big time goalie, um, and you know, when we needed saves tonight, he made those saves. Possessions uh, won by Thornburg. He was over eighty percent on faceoffs. Yeah, he was meant to. He was real good tonight. He, uh, you know, he seemed to be real focused on on getting possessions for us. And we, you know, we've talked to Jay about, you know, uh, especially after they score, it's critical that we have possessions. And, you know, they don't want to run or whatever. So he was he was real good tonight. One of the things I noticed is that whether it was Pinesh or Tavares, it seemed every time Toronto got a goal or two, they wouldn't get on a run, which happened a lot in the losing streak. You know, tonight you really made sure they didn't get any momentum and you guys kept on top of it. Yeah, we answered back an awful lot. I mean, uh, the one the one I remember, the big one, was Chad Culp. You know, uh, it was 13-12, we get possession off the face off. He gets up top and, you know, I missed the assignment on their side, but he just drove the net and... and had, he had some pressure on him, but it was a nice, nice berry. So, yep, we, we answered a lot, and we, you know, we we, we talked about uh, eliminating their runs because they're such an offensive, uh, talented team, and, and um, you know, uh, we did that. I know you're absolutely thrilled to win a playoff game anywhere. Is it one tenth of one percent better to, to win in here against a Toronto arrival no, for you? No, 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 it's okay. better. That organization uh, treated myself and my family real well. There's some character guys in that room, and I know you know I know what they're going through because I went through it for the last eight games. Um, you know, none whatsoever. I, I'm just real happy for our guys. Um, you know, we we just kept leaving, and and you know, we did what we needed to do. There, there wasn't a panic. Yeah, there were 
exuded panic during the eight games and there was positivity throughout. How much of a sigh of relief do you, do you breathe now just to, to get a win? I don't know about you guys, but I saw a big uh, gorilla jump off our back and run out the door. So it was, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, it was, you know, it was a big, it was good. So Rochester, you get, to, you get to see them again. It's not like you don't know anything about them. Yeah, well, I mean, defending champs, right? We're going to enjoy this one tonight, and then we'll get hit the, the, the video and all the other stuff that we have to do to prepare for, uh, for them. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations.